Alright, so hello and welcome to the lands of Ascensia. Hopefully I'm saying that name right. If not, it's going to be very awkward. But anyways, welcome to... I don't know if this is going to be the first episode or if it's going to be the introduction. It's probably going to be the introduction to the series. But yes, welcome to a new modded series that I'm doing with Atalantis. Check the channel down in the, descri down in the description below. I'm going to mess up so much today because I can't speak. Anyways... Yes, a new modded series that I decided to do with her. We decided to do it to together. We should do it together, and so we're doing it together. Yay. Yes, so basically what we did was we made our own mod pack. It's not a specific mod pack that is well known. We decided to make our own. And I, today in this introductory video, I just want to talk a little bit about the mod pack, and I want to talk about the mods that we actually have in the mod pack. And uh, yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, also, we did actually do one stream together not so long ago, where we kind of just spawned in the world and went out to get get stuff and find a place to call home because we didn't want all the first episodes to be boring and not us just mining and searching and stuff like that. So, yeah. We have done some off-camera work. A lot, actually. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully be recording the first episode fairly soon. But, uh, yes. Anyways, we'll show you all that later all the stuff that we've done later because this is just the intro introduction so the mod pack we have i think it's around 34 mods in the mod pack and first thing i want to say is that i will try and make this mod pack downloadable on the technic launcher and also via curse forge and i will also be uploading no matter what the mod pack for github and i will also leave a small text tutorial on how to install the mod pack manually without lose without losing no without using any launcher um, so that's cool, but I just want to talk a little bit about the mods that we actually have. So yeah, let's get started. So we wanted to do small, but also have a bunch of things to mess around with and have a lot of fun. So for the adventure and exploration, because we, we both like doing that, um, for the biome generation, we chose Biome So Plenty because it's just amazing. It has so many biomes and it's just cool, but also because we have two mods that fit well with it, which is season. So we actually have seasons. I believe it's spring right now. There was... I said snow earlier over there, so I'm guessing it's turning to spring, and it was just winter, I think, so yeah. Um, that's cool. We also have a mod called Familiar Fauna. Fauna? 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 Hopefully I'm saying one of those, right? But it just adds some extra mobs to Minecraft. I believe that Butterfly is part of it, and I think I also saw a crocodile or alligator somewhere in a swamp earlier. Not earlier today, but when I, when I was playing other times. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, we also have some extra structures generated using Rex's additional structures mod just to add some extra beefiness to exploring and yeah, excitement, excitement, that's the word. Now for dimensions we have Aether 2 which basically is a dimension above the clouds which I for some reason have turned off so yay. We then have a tw the Twilight Forest which is basically like a magical forest dimension which is really cool and then we also have the Erebus, which is another magic-like dimension, I would say. Yeah, so those are cool. And then we also have Galacticraft with the, uh, the mod called Extra Planets, which basically allows us to explore the entire solar system, or at least almost the entire solar system. Um, are we able to get to these? Are we able to get to these? No, not quite. I guess they're in another solar system, actually. But anyways, we're able to travel to all these green here. But not only that, also their moons. So we could go to Jupiter and we could also go to its four moons. So that is really cool indeed. So we'll be able to create space rockets and then fly out to these places. And I don't know if you will be able to do this with every single planet, but I know for the overworld, you will be able to, of course, travel to the moon, as I said, but also create a space station there. So that is going to be a lot of fun to do. A lot of exploration and a lot of fun. That's going to be cool. Also, it falls under the category as the industry mod thing. Uh, another thing we have for kind of like exploration and stuff, I believe it also adds a bunch of structures. I don't know how many, but it adds a few. We have fossils and archaeology, which I believe these mods are from. These right here. Hold on. Uh, Yep, that's from Fossil. Yep, I believe that is from that mod. And it basically allows you to make your own dinosaurs, essentially. Re recreate them. Uh, so that's that's something that's going to be fun playing around with. Then we also wanted a bit of industry, but not too much. So we could have added like thermal expansion or 
and Ryo, those big ones, but we decided to go with Immersive Engineering, just because we thought it would match the kind of like adventure and medieval and magical theme we were going for, um, because we also have a Magix mod on. So we thought it would fit well with that. We also have Immersive Petro Petroleum to go along with it to do oil stuff. That's going to be fun as well. And of course, Galactic Craft, as I mentioned earlier, for it because it also falls under the category as industry. And we also added real craft, so we will be able to make locomotives and electric trains as well. Also for our transportation, but also transportation of items if we want it. And the magic stuff is Electro Blobs Wizardry, which is pretty cool. I saw. Okay, so story. I told DM to me that uh, there was a cool magic mod, and she said a video. Either I found it or s I don't remember. But I looked it up. And I saw this video, I saw the first two seconds of it, and I was like, we're getting this. <laughs> so that was an easy decision. <laughs> it is in fact this magic wand that I got right here. Pew! But anyways, yep, we got that. And then we have some other random stuff. We have GI for crafting recipes. Really cool. Much needed in a mod pack, I think. Then we have a mod called Bullseye that adds a bunch of just random arrows with effects and colors. Stuff. Just just fun stuff. Then we have Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, just to add some furniture and some fun for house decorations, whatever. Just thought that would be cool. We have wearable backpacks, which is this. Basically gives you a chest on your back right there, and you can put it down, put stuff in it, and then you can put it back onto your back. It's, it's pretty cool, gotta say. Really nice when exploring, because this thing is not big enough, trust me. <laughs> It's just not big enough. I still have problems having stuff in here and in here. So like, yeah, much needed. And then for me, I use Optifine as well. Like it's optional, but I use Optifine so I can zoom and stuff. Um, we also have a mod called Chisel, just to add a bunch of more blocks to play around with when building. So we can make things look even cooler than normal. Like you can see all of this stuff, really, really cool will be able to do a lot of stuff with this. So we decided to add that as well. And then we have a mod called Ender Storage, which I'll try and explain it as best as I can. But you know the normal vanilla Ender chest, like it's only you that can open it, but you can only have one chest of it. Well, this basically allows you to have multiple Ender chests. So if I have an Ender chest, for example, color-coded green, 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 and I have two of them, I place one here and I place one here, it's basically gonna act like a vanilla Ender chest, with that color code. So if I get another one color coded red, 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 it's gonna be another set of inner chest connections. So like in the green one, I can put dirt. And if I open the red one, it will not be in there. So like, that's really cool. And then the same just for tanks and an ender pouch, which I believe is just like wearable backpacks, just when you just open it from your inventory. So that's gonna be cool too. Um, and then the tank is obviously for fluids. Um, and then we also have, I believe the last one, is Tinker's Construct, because it has a cool spellery, it has some cool stuff, but most importantly, it allows you to create your custom tools. Um, you can create the different parts of the tool, like the head, the binding, the, the I'm missing up here, the, bind, the head, the binding, the, the rod you're using, you can mix and match materials, and some materials will have well, they will affect the dur durability and also potentially have uh, specific effects. And then you can also add to the tools, you can add modifiers to give them such as haste and luck and other stuff like that. So that is really cool and something that I added as well. And I've been using this smelter quite a lot because we went out mining a bunch. And yeah, basically when you put an ore in here, it duplicates it when it smells, but it requires lava. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of that off camera. <laughs> Trust me, uh, you would not want to see it. That's nasty, but um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the, the mods that we have in the mod pack. Of course, I did not mention all the library mods, but once I get the mod pack posted on at least GitHub, you will be able to see all the mods that we have there and be able to download it and play it for yourself. But yeah, that is basically the mod pack itself. Now in this series in general, um, it will not be guaranteed that Atlantis and I will be doing every episode together, most likely not, just like I'm doing this one without her. Um, we might do stuff separately, but we might also, of course, definitely be doing stuff together. Um, and potentially we'll stream, like, doing what we would normally do off camera, like mining, resource gathering, maybe building, I don't know, stuff like that. Yeah, so that is that. And then, 
Uh, let me sleep because night is creepy. Uh, but then I have one last thing to say. This server is private. No one will be able to join it. It's a private server. Only Atlantis and I are able to join this server and no one else will be al allowed to join it. The reason why I say this was that people already in my in my stream that I did a couple of days ago or a week or so ago already asked if they were if they would be able to join the server and they asked multiple times and I'm just going to say right now no. So that's basically hopefully going to stop all future comments and will also allow me to just be able to ignore all comments in the future asking about this question because I've already answered it because I have a feeling that comments are going to be flooding in my Discord server and on YouTube. Can I join this please? Can I join the server? Please allow us to join. Already now I'm going to answer the question before it's even been asked. No. Sorry. Private server. Only us. So yeah. That's that. But that's... <laughs> Sorry. But uh, yeah. I just wanted to get that straight as well. But yes, that's um, that's pretty much it for this video. Now, if you did watch the stream, you would see that this island, we decided to make it our home island. And, well, we did. So, this island was actually covered in trees, but we decided to cut them all off so we could design the base better. Now, the thing is, we actually decided to stay at another place. So, this is just our temporary home. But without the old, old trees, it's very nice here, actually. We can actually see what's going on. But we did record that with the replay mod, and you will be watching that in time-lapse mode right after this. So I basically would just want to add this as quick as possible. If you've got any questions, except if you can join this world, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Leave a like, check out Atalatis' channel out, link down below as well. Check out my Discord server, follow me on Twitter, and uh, subscribe, of course, if you haven't yet. Very important, and enable those notifications. But yes, hope you enjoyed and enjoy the time-lapse. Hope you're excited about, about this series, because we are, and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Enjoy the time lapse.